So therefore, the other day when we had a, a meeting with the religious leaders and the way I'm going to say, meaning that the um, Banyankore women, they would carry the, the, the milk or the porridge for the child whom she would be carrying on the back. But the mother would always test the, the food, the milk, the, the drink first. So they say it is the food of the child, but the mother is the one who... <laughs> so the, the mother ends up being fat <laughs> by testing the, the, the food of the child on the back. I had people pra praising me for this prayer session. So I'm like the other woman who, who, who takes advantage of... But actually, the idea of the prayer came from the religious leaders. When they came here, my only uh, contribution is that I accepted immediately. <laughs> but it came from them. And, the, uh, the, uh, and therefore, uh, prayer, as you had, has worked in the past according to the scriptures which are read to us uh, from the Bible, but I'm sure also from the Quran. Now here, uh, the, that um, when I met the religious leaders on 17th of March, we declared this day, 21st of March, to be a day of prayer. And also it happens to be a good day, because on this day, on the 21st, 21st of March, 1979, I was involved uh, in, a, in a battle, a, a, a fighting, near Mbarara. We had captured Mbarara on the 28th of February, 1979. And then Idi Amin made some counter-attacks. Uh, one time, and then the second time was this one, was on the actual 21st of, of March, when he attacked from the Ntungamu side at the press called Rugando, and we defeated him. And that was the last battle for Mbarra. They never came back again. After that, they, they never came back. So it's, a, it's an interesting day, a day of victory for for freedom, so I'm very happy with this day. <laughs> now, the, um, before we had had prayers in 2012, 7th of October again, the different arms of government came together and we prayed at Nambori, and there were some religious leaders there. So it is, it is good that today we again met here to, to pray. In the Bible, you had, you had the uh, religious leaders quoting different uh, texts, like this in the Chronicles 2, when King Hezekiah was attacked by a vast and mighty army, uh, and then they, they prayed. I can quote, then King, uh, uh, then there was another king, Jehoshaphat, who, who prayed in the assembly and uh, said, O oh Lord our God and Father, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of, of the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. O oh, our God, did you not give us this land? This was Israel now. You said that if calamity comes upon us, whether the, the sword of judgment 
or the plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before you and we will cry out to you in our distress and you will hear us and save us. So that's what we did today. We did today. Uh, and, and the prayer is already working. The, the, the locusts, locusts came, but they ate nothing. <laughs> they just came, and uh, these, uh, our, our experts were saying we should leave them, because apparently they had eaten a lot of things in Kenya. They had eaten a lot of things in Somalia, and apparently when, when they eat and they, they are mature, uh, the next stage is uh, not to eat, but to lay eggs. So these ones had come to lay eggs because they had already eaten enough. So they were just sitting in the trees there, in the grass. Now our experts say, no, don't disturb them. There were two opinions. One opinion was from my people, they were saying, but this man said, why doesn't he let us eat them? <laughs> because you, you, you know some, some Ugandans eat the locusts. They, they were saying, as to the let him let us and we eat them. But I said, no. Uh, and then the experts were saying, no, let them lay eggs. And you wait for the, because the eggs, the eggs hatch in 14 days. Uh, then the young ones are, are, are on the ground, they are not flying. You can kill them easily. That's what they are, the, the opinion. But we said no, we are not going to wait. We spread them and killed them, all of them, all the swarms which came. Uh, they are easy to kill, they are not all that difficult because they, they land. By, by 6 o'clock or 7, they land, because they cannot fly at night. Uh, the insects and the, the reptiles are not able to regulate the body heat. You know the human beings can uh, regulate the, human, the, the body heat. When you are cold, you, 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 what they call goose pimples, when you hear your, your skin contracting, that is uh, to conserve the heat within the body and, and also to, 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 to build a, a blanket of, of warmth around you through the body hair. But the, 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 the insects don't have that capacity, nor do the reptiles. So when it is cold, they are very cold. And when they are very cold, they can't move. They, you find them just... Uh, so what we did was that uh, these experts who were waiting for the plane, because you see they don't th think so much, they're the waiting for the plane. The plane, first of all, doesn't spray much, and it doesn't fly at night. Uh, so the only time you can start spraying is in the morning, like, like, like eight. And then by 10, once the, 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 the sun warms them, they fly off and, and they go. Uh, but, but for us, we used our, 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 our determination, the, the UPDF, uh, and actually developed now more, more knowledge. Uh, since this locusts land by 6, 7, normally the people tell us where they have landed the one inch report, this is one inch, the ROC system. So oh, they are here, they are here, they are here. And then our, our teams get there by eight, by, by, by 10. And, and at night they will just be there, not moving, not what, so with the torch you go on spraying for 12 hours until 10 the following morning when the remnants fly away. So that's how we have killed the, uh, the, the, the locusts. So the, uh, the locusts came, but they ate nothing, and they did no damage. And uh, it must have been due to, to prayer.
so that the prayer has already worked. So the next thing was, did they lay eggs? Because apparently they can lay eggs, but the eggs may not hatch if, if the conditions are not good. Because they like some... Now, everywhere they landed is mapped. We mapped it. We are now checking. It's now 40 days. Because they were supposed to... The eggs are supposed to hatch after 14 days, but it's now 40 days. We don't see any eggs. Uh, but we are, we, are, we are checking as soon as the, the, the young ones come, we shall kill them. Uh, those are easier to kill because they are... They are but I'm going to call them a totera. They don't fly. They are just uh, on, the, on the ground. So the calamity of locusts has been uh, neutralized. Now the, this one of... The one of Ebola... Ebola was in Congo for a long time until it ended without a single case coming to, to, to Uganda. So we have now this, uh, this corona uh, virus. As people were saying, it has not yet come here. And yet, really, Ugandans are living in a very careless way. So again, it must be because of uh, God's intervention. So I'm glad we prayed, but uh, one reason I pulled aside a bit in the 1960s, you know, I was very active with the church. I think I would have ended up being uh, one of the earlier bishops. <laughs> uh, 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 earlier than the, this, this archbishop, I, because my group, Bishop Benezer Xembo, that was my group mate at Nabugabo. And uh, Bishop Wamose was uh, our teacher. He was like, we were students, he was, for him he was already uh, a teacher. He was like a camp leader, while for us we were camp uh, attendants. But one area I didn't agree with the, with the churches was uh, only praying and not doing. That one I didn't agree. I said no. But when, when God created us in, in the book of Genesis, he gave us two, two assignments. Assignment number one was to multiply and fill the earth. Ah, it's of Africa, which call of Luigi. That one doesn't need much preaching. But the second one was establish dominion over, over creation, over nature. Uh, establish dominion over nature. This is a challenge, but I can tell you the, the human beings will establish dominion even over this virus. They will defeat it. They will defeat it because, remember, God created us in his own image. We are small gods only that we misuse our, uh, we, we misuse our capacity. And as one of the preachers was saying, the talents, talents are not used. So. Uh, I really challenge Africans to use their, their talents. Rubare Mbera, Nembiro Kota De, even our, our, our ancestors said. So, therefore, even here, as we pray, we must also do. Now, this is where I disagreed with the Scripture Union, the conference we had in 1965 at Muiri, because there our leaders were, uh, some of our uh, white, white, white leaders were saying, no, no, you just pray. At that time, I brought a motion in that conference of 1965. I said we must condemn Ian Smith. Yes. Because Ian Smith... <laughs>